Yo, what's up, guys? This is Dicting Arts, and I'm here today with my ninth or tenth tutorial. This tutorial is a great effect for your photos and desktop backgrounds. This is a vignette effect. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys two ways of doing this, both of which make your uh, backgrounds look amazing. So go ahead and open up your Photoshop and uh, open up whatever background or picture you're working with. Here I have a picture of Hillary Dove and all of her hotness. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer above this and grab my elliptical marquee tool which is the second tool down from the top of this panel over here to the left it may be selected on something else so just right click and hit elliptical marquee now on the top left corner of your picture on the new layer go ahead and click and drag to the bottom right until you get this circle now in the middle of the circle right click and hit select inverse head over to your paint bucket tool and make sure your back or your foreground color is black and click in the selected area now go to select, deselect, or um, command D on a Mac. Now we're going to go over to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're going to change the setting to 30 to 35, I think looks best, and hit OK. Now g while you have your vignette layer selected, change the opacity how to however you want it to get this nice effect. So that's one way of doing the vignette. I'm just going to hide this layer and click on the background. Now, on the background layer, go to Filter, Distort, and Lens Correction. Um, in the settings, there will be a little drop-down menu. Make sure you have the drop-down menu in there, have Custom selected. And then in the Custom panel, you'll see Vignette. If you move this little arrow right here to the right, it creates the white vignette, which is the opposite of what we want. But if you cut it to the left, it'll make the black vignette. I suggest a vignette or setting of negative 75. So I set it to negative 75 and I'm going to hit OK. As you can see, both of them give you the same great effect for your photos and it does give it a very nice look to it. But when you do use it with the elliptical marquee, it gives you more control over how you want it, how dark you want it, how blurry you want it, and how large of a vignette. If you do use the lens correction option, it just gives you a faster way of doing it and it's a little more even. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, tutorial number nine. This tutorial idea was brought to you guys by X Juice or Voodoo Sniper. He gave me the idea and has been helping me out with a lot of stuff. So I'm going to link him in the description. Please go check his channel out for me. And keep commenting, liking, and subscribing to me. Hopefully I should be getting to about 750 subscribers soon. So it's all thanks to you guys. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial or uh, speed art. Thanks guys. Addicting Arts out.